So what I've basically said was, or I say forecasted, was that we have significant trouble for this circle of blame. It's starting to crack, and there's starting to be movement in, in all areas. So what, what is next? Basically, from uh, our council's job, I'm going to talk a little bit about our objectives, is we want to facilitate uh, green building training. We did this, as I mentioned in April's conference, uh, Build Green CEE, also this morning's session. Uh, and we want to put together a monthly lecture series where we bring in a, either a green architect or a particular company to educate architectural students, engineering students, business students. Uh, also, uh, have basically more detailed training. Today's training, I'd say, was a mid-level training, three and a half hours on the subject, a lot of material to cover, but we could take it farther and, and more detailed. So we want to provide some of this training that is necessary and not available, but also we want to attract member companies who can deliver this training. I'm sorry, I should mention uh, scholarships as well. Uh, we, for this conference, this training this morning, and also uh, our, our previous conference and going forward, we've, we've made scholarships available to students uh, to bring them here and to, to uh, cover the conference costs. We also want to build awareness of, of the concept of green building. And uh, I showed you a few pictures of the early green cafes that we did. Uh, this morning's sessions, again, we hope was helped build awareness. Uh, we partnered with the World Wide Fund for Nature with their recent climate caravan, uh, where basically out in, this was Harrister, I believe, but they're in Constanza, Brasov, Cluj, and two days in Bucharest. And this raised awareness about green building, uh, uh, I'm sorry, climate change in general, but we, what we brought as the Green Building Council was topics about uh, how you can save money uh, by building green. So this was the event. I think it was a successful event. There were many people gathering information and uh, starting again the conversation. And I would have to say overwhelmingly positive feedback when everyone would find out, of course, what, what the WWF was doing, but also when they heard that we were here and what we were trying to do, I think they were very interested and they wanted um, immediate information on what was going on. So we also we put together a, a Road GBC blog on our website to discuss issues. Um, also, I won't go into too much details, but Web 3.0 is really the next generation of websites, next generation of searchable data, and we want to combine some of this very high-level technology along with green building knowledge to give people a very interesting searchable database of, of, of things. Uh, also, media outreach and, and publications, we want to be involved and help contribute uh, to the, the media discussion. This from our... April's conference, this was from Hungary. It was a, a regional, let's say regional coverage and we meant for it to be a regional conference. Sofia. And then here in Romania, I, I think the, in general the, 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 the Romania media has done uh, a very good job of picking up on the theme and recognizing its importance and, 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 uh, uh, and starting, to, starting to discuss. And then I'm seeing very quickly the, the, the questions and the, uh, the interest really, really rise very quickly. We also, as a council, want to support green building uh, legislation, as, as I mentioned before. Uh, we, we want to not create new mechanisms and, more, uh, and one more thing to worry about. We want to support what's already good and help clear the way uh, and, and, and help it be implemented. Um, and we also want to push for incentives for, for green building. Uh, some green procurement, which I understand is currently in, in government right now, some incentives for, uh, for uh, and requirements and incentives for procuring green, and um, also new ideas. Uh, some, in some places, it's possible as a developer to speed up your process through the uh, building code inspection if it's a green building. And this is a very low-cost way for, uh, to provide the developer a benefit uh, and at the same time encouraging environmentally responsible behavior. And of course, as an activity, we want to promote business opportunities for our members um, and domestic, regional, and international collaboration. We have member networking events. I think we can consider this evening's event will, will be in this intention. Uh, pilot projects. We don't want to talk about the theory of green building. We want to demonstrate pilot projects in Romania and, and really show that things are happening here. Uh, we'll hold conferences. Uh, we, we have done in the past. We will in the future. And also this, at the end there, the EU 
GBC network is a, a network of green building councils around Europe that we're uh, actively involved in and we're, I'd say, pushing to, to really uh, both receive information but also uh, provide something uh, as well and to, to really help some of the councils form in our neighboring countries and, and get them started because if this is a regional marketplace, this creates a lot more economic opportunity for everybody. And, and, and we want to create that, the, the, the regional opportunities for our member companies. And then also knowledge sharing. A lot, a lot of green building, there's a lot of new lessons to learn and uh, knowledge that can be shared. So how to get involved. Uh, what we'd like to do at this launch, we'd ask you to join us as, uh, for those companies that are in the construction or construction related. Uh, we're very interested to have your support as members. Uh, I will say we want to be a very inclusive organization in that it is not dedicated only to a solar panel manufacturer or a construction company. I would widen this to say banks. I would, I would love to see uh, a bank doing business in Romania step up and say we want to, op uh, we want to offer a green mortgage. Uh, and this could drive it as much as, any, as, as many things. So, so banks I think are, are included. It uh, could be consulting companies, advertising companies. It, our, our interest is really to build a, a green economy and to have, uh, if we consider how much the construction economy really relates, it relates 40, or it, it, it produces 40% of the carbon emissions, uh, but it also, uh, from that, it also affects a lot of things. There's a lot of energy going into it and it touches very many in industries. So we want to bring all the right people to the table. Uh, our target, uh, based on previous discussions and some of the, uh, the, the memberships to date, we're looking to be at 75 to 100 member companies by the end of this year and uh, growing from that point forward. Uh, we have basically what we hope are, are modest uh, uh, membership fees for s both small companies, medium and large companies. And most of my background is business and technology and, and I think it's very important that we demonstrate return on investment so that we don't just take a membership fee but that, that membership fee is returned back to the member company. And we want to do that by providing them leads in business as we, as we bring together everybody into, into the same community. Uh, we want to represent your voice and, uh, and basically, as I said before, demonstrate to government that there are businesses that are interested in great, taking greater responsibility and having uh, 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 better enforcement of, of the existing codes and, and these types of things and that they, they don't have to resist it, they can actually prosper from it. And that the innovative companies, uh, will, will, this will be a strategic competitive advantage if they can do this. Uh, we also uh, want to provide positive visibility for the topic and also quality projects and bring in quality investors. I think a very clear case can be made and if we look at, at the companies here, they're all doing projects, they're completing projects and they will be uh, in the future that if we, if we look at sustainable investors or green investors, we can consider this is high quality foreign direct investment. These are not speculative uh, people. They, speculative uh, in, investment probably is not looking at how to redo all of their structures. Uh, and, and this is what, what uh, green building also brings uh, from, from which is important to an economy. Uh, then also other ideas. We want to keep it open to the member companies to suggest ideas to us. How can we do this better? How can, what, what can we bring as a green building council? I mentioned some of the other green building councils around the world, uh, but those are, uh, those are in existence. If we have other ideas, uh, we, can, we can follow some of their ideas, but also create our own. And why, when I talk about return on investment and, and you know, what at the end of the day, why is this a good investment? And I think if we look at some of the key drivers that have been driving green building in the last months, uh, strengthening codes, the, the EPBD uh, certifications, energy prices and energy security, of course, are very big concerns. Uh, if we look at uh, how the markets have been doing in the last two weeks, if you look at that while the markets had dropped down to numbers of five years ago, uh, oil prices, energy prices have returned uh, after that fall to only one year ago. And that was before all the, the runs. So the, the energy price is more expensive now than it was one and a half, two years ago. So a very 
we, we still have strategically high energy prices and, and uh, we believe as it goes up uh, it makes the case for green building only stronger. Uh, and energy is just one thing when we talk about green buildings. There's materials to use, uh, there's construction scrap to not produce in the first place, but there's a lot of things about green building that can save money and save uh, uh, resources and, and uh, 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 construction inputs. Another key driver, is, as I mentioned before, is investor interest in sustainability. Investors are starting to see the numbers now. If we think just five years, ten years ago, there weren't many data points to explain uh, why buildings that are green, that why do they rent for more money, why do they sell for more money, and why, are they, why do they have higher occupancies. And now we're starting to see conclusive evidence that this is the case. Other key drivers, uh, as I mentioned, the media uh, has done a good job of elevating this locally. Uh, everyone has seen the floods, uh, weather changes, and uh, as Stephen Scrivens mentioned today, those floods were not from just too much water at, at the wrong time. They were from deforestation and uh, other, other signs that green building uh, can, do, can help uh, by, by requiring that the wood for uh, green building is sustainably forested. Technology has come up with many, uh, many exciting new, uh, new areas. Uh, green certifications, uh, this, this is what I mentioned before, there's a LEED certification out of the US, BREEAM out of the UK, uh, many others around the, around the world, but providing options for people to build uh, to a, to a uh, let's say, a more uh, aggressive green uh, uh, qualification. And what I call your neighbor's solar panel, and what, what this means, if, you, if you're talking about green building, and you're the first person, you're the crazy person with the solar panel on the block, and the next time, then finally one or two people start to follow, and then pretty soon the one person who doesn't have it is the person who didn't get the memo that, they, that solar panels are good ideas. So this, I think, is, we've seen it on our block. We did our green renovation. I'd like to think we started, we, we inspired a few other renovations along uh, the, the, towards ins better insulation and uh, other types of things. But I think this is a very real phenomenon that's going to spread as, as uh, green building uh, initiatives from very large office buildings to very small residential uh, form. Uh, what we'd like to do is for, for the green, uh, uh, for, for, sorry, for the non-members non of the Romanian Green Building Council who are considering it, there was a member price for the training this morning, a non-member, and we'd like to extend the member price to, to those that, that will become members in the next two weeks. Uh, just contact us. Uh, and and uh, as, a, as, a, as a bonus to, to uh, have you join us. Uh, we'd like to hear from you uh, going forward. What are your suggestions? If you're not joining, let us know why. What do, what do you want to see in, uh, in an organization? And then we want to move forward effectively and quickly. And uh, what I, as far as some, there's many, many thank yous, I guess. Uh, first and foremost, uh, our, our founding members. They have committed not only financial resources to, start, to starting us and, and uh, really giving us the opportunity to uh, put things together. So we've basically uh, had some additional support, so I want to say uh, thank you there. Also to the Road GBC team who has been working uh, nonstop for the last, I'd say, two and a half months uh, to really put this stuff together. The conferences have a lot of, uh, a lot of work behind it. Uh, Anka Biero uh, with, uh, with uh, the Road GBC, Laura Nimuanu, who is our conference project manager, uh, Christina Siu, who is, uh, uh, has recently joined us, Adrian Pop, who is our Cluj representative, uh, Katya Perry, who has been helping uh, working with uh, business development and talking to uh, some p potential, uh, potential members. Uh, there's also uh, Anka Marza, who is out in Los Angeles, on the other side, uh, I had met her uh, uh, a few years ago and she had been really instrumental in, in pulling together uh, and sending a lot of messages to, to really people around the world, to organizations around the world to get our initial conference going along with, along with this as well. And then Anka Dobrescu as well and uh, wanted to, to say thanks for, for everyone, for all, for all that team, uh, teamwork. And uh, with that, also to thank you for uh, coming to this event. And uh, 
before uh, uh, I, w I will introduce the next speaker, but I w want to see if there was maybe one or two questions before I do, and um, and uh, we can we can go on from there. Thank you for your presentation. We've seen a lot of uh, companies join joined you, but. Uh, uh, isn't this a, a, little, a, a little bit more like PR-ish? PR as in public relations? Yeah. I mean, isn't this a lot of, a lot of commercial? Uh, give us some, some uh, examples of, of the, the implication of these, these members, the, the founding members in, in Green Building in Romania. Okay. I, I think it's a, a very good question. I think it, it, there's definitely a... a uh, uh, part, of, part of quality to the whole green trend that has been recent that, uh, that, that there's companies that realize they should be marketing this. Uh, in my business experience over the years, I've heard a lot of promises, I've heard a lot of strategies, I've heard a lot of core, core values, mission statements, you name it. Uh, but at the end of the day, the one thing I look at is do they apply budget and do they apply management time? And I would have to say, if we look at all of these founding members, they have a definitely applied budget. They've supported us uh, with uh, early. I'll tell you uh, something very interesting. Now is not exactly the best time to be rushing through payments uh, through, through, uh, uh, through your accounts payable system. And we had, our, our, our legal entity was established uh, formally about a week and a half ago. We sent invoices, we needed to pay a hotel, we needed to get a lot of things together in a conference, and all of these companies rushed and pushed through and got us what we needed. Uh, they did that, uh, also their, their executives are showing up at our meetings. If the executives aren't showing, somebody is there. If they're not there, they're calling in. So I would, I, would, I, I think, you know, it's a fair question, but I would say from, from my experience, these, this is very, very strategic thinking. And, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, ho hopefully it is good marketing. Hopefully it brings good results. But I'm a firm believer that this is good business. And, I, you know, many, many of you know Michael Porter's theories of, of uh, business competition. And one of the main ones is how do you build sustained profitability and is to make a business model that others find difficult to copy. And I think if you can master green building, I don't think it's impossible to do, but I, I think, I think it's, there's some, some steps and some, some real thinking that has to be done. But if you can master this, you will have a strong business proposition going forward. So I see all these companies uh, as, as taking that step. And, and as I said, I, I, I look at my measure, do, do they show up, do they actually spend time on it, and do they, do they spend resources? And the answer is yes. Thank you again.